Hey, what's up guys? We're back for some more Legacy Cube Draft. I'm going to do something a little crazy and try to force this red-black vampire deck that seems to be uh, like embedded in here. Um, I think we'll definitely get this Hex Mage back, or maybe the Devil's Play, um, or Sulphur Springs, so all of those cards are fine. Uh, I'm going to take the really super powerful Planeswalker card that happens to fit into the deck. I'm passing Gifts again. Wow, I opened Gifts and, and Fof again, just like I did last uh, last draft. That's pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to kick myself because I'm going to get passed on Burial Rites again and not have the Gifts. But uh, Yeah, I'm going to take this Lily here. There's not that much to say about it. She's just amazing. This is one of my one of my favorite cards. Almost all my favorite cards are in an Innistrad block. I just loved that block. It was amazing. Every card was amazing. Um okay, so there's Sangromancer. Um which we would be passing up uh Hero's Downfall. I think it, there's pretty good odds this comes back and there's actually a lot of four drops uh, so I won't want to be too heavy on the four drops with the vampires I'm gonna take this downfall here it's just a better card you know <coughs> if if the vampire route fails and we end up with mono black I'm cool with that um, okay um, here again we have a, a oh he's a vampire other black creatures yeah that's pretty powerful um, again, I'm thinking a lot of these cards are going to come back, so, um, Ophiomancer is really good, Arena is really good, um, Chain Lightning is amazing, um, uh, yeah, I like this card a lot, it can really stall out the board really well, um, Maybe I'll take Imperial Recruiter so I can search up my the uh, Stromkirk Captain guy, right? Is that the name? The the Lord, the Vampire Lord? Ah, uh, crap. I don't know what to take. Uh, er, yeah, I guess I'm taking Arena. Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, Chainer's Edict. Or the vamp. Well, let me get at least one vampire under my belt here, and this one's really good. Uh, sweet. Maybe in the in the Zendikar reprint, they'll make some more cool vampires. <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah, I'm gonna take that one. Okay. Dread Return is a powerful card. It uh, goes well with our Lily. Um, so if I get Grizzleby later, that could be good. We could just take this Herald of Thor. Oh! <laughs> Stupid, right in front of my face. Stromkirk Captain. There he is. Yeah. That's one of the payoff cards for doing this silliness, so we better make sure we get all of those. Uh, Riftbolt, Goblin Guide, Una's Prowler, Goblin Guide. I want to try to err towards being a little aggro here. Uh, I haven't taken anything over three yet, so that's not too bad. Um, attrition, eh. Disciple of Bolas is, is pretty good. Whip of Erebos is pretty good. Um, Dragon Fodder could be okay. Uh, I'm going to whip it. Whip it good. You know, just in case it goes well with the lily and, you know, might just be generally good. Um, I'm going to take Ratchet Bomb here. In black, you don't have a lot of ways to answer non-creature stuff. Okay, so Sulphur Springs came back. So that's good. Um, Char, okay. So we only have a couple vampires so far, but we're, we're erring, erring towards the positive. 
Arena and Whip, I'm not sure just yet if I'm going to go that route. They're both very good, but... Ratchet Bomb, maybe a sideboard card? So for now, I'm kind of like semi-ignoring these. And Char, if I have a better burn spell, I'll play a better one, but... Looks like we're headed in a positive direction. We're waiting on some people here. Okay, um, and here I have the same question again. I don't want to take six drops, really. Nykthos could be good in this. Nykthos could be really good in this deck. And that guy's good, but he's not. He's not amazing. Oh, I'm forcing vampires, so let's just take it. Okay, I guess I'll take a skull crack. Herald. Uh, Molten Rain. And Attrition. Okay, so we got all playable cards. So we successfully cut off our colors. Yeah, I would have liked to have that Nikos. We have a lot of Black Devotion right now. Okay, looking at Necrotal, Dark Ritual, um, Stagger Shock, hmm. I think I like Dark Ritual because it can occasionally lead to really broken starts, like if I can Ritual out Lily or Herald of Torment that's going to be pretty effective. So, <laughs> I like that card. Blood Crypt, Ultimate Price. Um, hmm. Yeah, those are both really good. I don't know, Ultimate Price is pretty, pretty premium removal. There's not that many gold creatures in here. Nice! I really want this Lacerator, but there's Badlands. Ooh, an Inquisition. Hmm. Alright, well, we're forcing vampires, but really this is a dumb pick if I take this over those two cards. This pack is pretty good, and it's very likely this will come back. Um, I'm going to take Inquisition. That might be wrong over Badlands, but... It's a really good effect. Uh, Disfigure. Dark Imposter is a vampire. That'll come back. That's like a weird O card. Nobody will play that. I'll take the Disfigure. Okay, Gatekeeper. There's a good one. We need some more two drops for sure. For show. That's uh, not helpful. Okay, and here's another payoff card. That guy is just bomb diggity. That girl. Another sweet art. Like this was probably meant to be an Innistrad and they just kept the art. Maybe this was Olivia. Maybe this was her uh, uh, alternative. Yeah, she's sweet. Just makes everybody bigger. They don't even have to be vampires, just any creature. It's pretty cool. So this is going to be like heavy black splashing red. That's cool. I guess the whip goes, right? I mean... Vampires seem kinky, right? Like, they could be into SNM. Uh, <laughs> Underworld Connections. I already have Arena. I don't think I need both of those. I'll take Arid Mesa. I didn't even look at anything else. Maybe I should have. Uh, Chino. I want two drops. 
And I'm not going to play any of these other cards, so. Chainwalker it is. Okay. Stagger Shock. Criminally underpicked card. I mean, yeah, the first time it's an overpriced shock, but the second time it's a free shock, so the one extra mana kind of outweighs that, I think. It's pretty good. All right, people. Who's this? Who's this idiot? Mad Mage slowing everybody down. Dusty slowing everybody down. The levels. Eh, not too many interesting names this time. This is a little unusual. If he dies, he dies. I don't know what that means. Okay, I'm gonna pause it till we get another pick. Okay, what did we get back here? Mog Fanatic? I mean, I guess I could. Ah, my Lacerator came back. Sweet. Oh, I could see playing Sinkhole or... Chrome Mox should not be going this late. Yeah, maybe we take Chromox. Get off to a faster start. <coughs> Don't really want to play both of these six drops, and the Regent seems a lot better to me than this guy. This guy's good against uh, Mono Red and White. White Wiener. Rampant Growth, second to last? Oh, okay, Basilisk Collar. I could board that in against fatties. That Somebody took that Dark Imposter. I feel like we were in competition for our vampire strategy here, which is really frustrating. Um, yeah, Slaughter Pact. This is a black-red dragon. 4-5, huh? Yeah, that seems really good. Uh, yep, yeah. and uh, I mean, it's on. I don't know. This pack isn't that strong, so I'm not sure that that'll come back. So I'm gonna take that. Plus, I haven't played with it before. Plus, it's got sweet art. Uh. Yeah, I kind of want to take Blood Artist here. Searing Spear is probably better, but... Hmm. Alright, I'll take Searing Spear. Oop. Noble. Doom Blade. Arr. Gonna take Noble. So right now my deck seems like it has a little bit too split personality. So I'm going to have to trim some fat here. I think the whip doesn't make sense. Arena is just card advantage. It seems great. That guy doesn't seem as good as that guy. Not sure if I'm going to need or want the dragon. but it's dragon. It's black and red. I haven't played with it yet. It's art. It's amazing. It's dragon flying in freaking lightning. Um, ooh, nice. Oh, bolt. Jeez. I have to take this because it's a lord in my deck, and this will definitely come back in this pack. I mean, because the pack is pretty loaded up, but it sucks to pass bolt. Um, 
but I'm going to because I said from the beginning I'm forcing vampires and that's what we're doing here. Um, and I still don't think the deck is that bad. It's not great. It does have synergy and, you know, aside from a few stragglers, mostly a, a low curve. So that's good. Did not get very much fixing. I really feel like I was in competition. Like, I didn't see my Olivia. Okay, Dreadborg. Dreadborg getting the van. Um, Interloper. Yeah, we're kind of low on creatures, actually. I just noticed that. Um, yeah, this is probably one of the last picks here, but if... I don't know, I'm pretty low on creatures. I better pick up some more creatures. If we're going to do this... Let's go balls deep. Damnation is powerful. It doesn't really go in our deck. I mean, I guess it's good to reset button. Um, take buried alive with the whip. Doesn't seem like good enough. I guess I'll take the shriek maw. I mean, don't really know how good this is going to be with uh, so few red cards and wanting to play this early. It's, it's still good late, though. If we can get it through, it can kind of like get spiral out of control. Um, this is double red, or I'd want it. Um, so I'll take this firebolt. And tomb. Karmic guide, that's funny. Um uh, do, 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 do. not likely to play any of these. I guess. Um I don't know. Okay, Shieldred went all the way around the horn. Uh, Flame Speaker is a good creature, but and it works in our deck, except the mana is too too bad. So I guess we'll take Shieldred, although it's probably sitting on the bench. Okay, I'll take this Necromancer. Um, do I have any other zombies? I mean, Gravecrawler could just be a 2-1 one for 1, maybe. Wow, yeah, okay. That's... <laughs> that's really bizarre. Lightning Mauler, okay. Yeah, this came out pretty weird. I gotta go and look at those, like, what didn't come around, but I feel like somebody else was trying to do this. <laughs> Which is pretty frustrating, <laughs> to be honest. Like, TBH, bro, lay off my vampires. Like, somebody got the Olivia. She pisses me off, because that, that was the whole point of why I did this, because it's, like, my one of my favorites. This Arid Mesa is just getting a basic mountain. Is that better than just a basic mountain. Um, no. Um, okay. So, did I say to go over there? Can you please go where I put you? Why does it not let you make new piles? That is really annoying. Um, okay, so we have to make five cuts, um, so I want to cut two creatures and three non-creatures, so let's group creatures separately, 
and um, so do we need this many this kind of counts as a mana source so just want to cut three from this pile oh well we're definitely cutting that then maybe one or two more creatures I mean, this doesn't really do that much, aside from being a, yeah, that doesn't really do enough. Okay, so I think that's good on our creatures. Um, well, we're not cutting uh, Lily, that's for sure. We're not cutting Price or Downfall or Disfigure or Inquisition. Um, I guess Firebolt is better than Stagger Shock, so let's cut that. And maybe two more, or maybe one more. Yeah, I don't think we want this char. Alright, this seems okay. Yeah, you know, we have 24, but we have a Dark Ritual. Chrome Mox. We can get off to pretty fast starts here. 10 and 4. I'm going to go to 9 and 5 just to make it a little more even. Even I mean, I am heavier, much heavier black, and I have a lot of double black things, but. All right, let's see how we do with this, and uh, hopefully we we don't. <laughs> hopefully we face the other red black vampire deck and just crush them <laughs> for for pissing us off, right? <laughs>